19-year-old Kelsey Simpson privately struggled with obsessive compulsive disorder for more than a decade before she was finally diagnosed. Doctors at BC Children's Hospital invited her to an intensive summer camp, the only one in Canada where those with OCD learned to address their fears head on. Kelsey bravely shared her struggle and successes with our Tanya Beja. I remember being on the playground and being at the top of the playground and seeing this one girl and thinking, what if I just push her off the slide? Kelsey Simpson was just six when she had her first intrusive thought. It stuck with her for years. I didn't tell a single person until I was 16 years old any thoughts I was having because I was so scared that I'd be locked up or I'd get in trouble. Come here. Ready? Kelsey feared she would hurt others, her pets, herself. The harmful thoughts confined her to her home, robbed her of her teenage years. I didn't graduate with my friends. I didn't go to prom. Um, I didn't get my driver's license. I didn't go to parties. After several misdiagnoses, Kelsey learned she had obsessive compulsive disorder, a condition that affects 20,000 children and youth in British Columbia. Some have a fear of germs or a need for symmetry and order and perform rituals to ease their discomfort. Others, like Kelsey, are faced with repeated, unwanted thoughts. OCD is an illness. Uh, we see changes in the brain that occur. It's genetically mediated, so it runs in families, and uh, it causes significant impairment. So this is my t-shirt from Camp OCD. Doctors at BC Children's Hospital referred Kelsey to Camp OCD, a four-week program, the only one of its kind in Canada, where participants face their fears through gradual, repeated exposure. Organizers say being around others with OCD also helps participants overcome their isolation. It helps to normalize their experience. Suddenly they realize, oh, I'm not the only one who has these strange thoughts or I'm not the only one who has to do this thing over and over again. Doctors say OCD is one of the most misunderstood mental health conditions. It's part of the reason parents must attend camp as well. When the OCD camp came, it was like it was just a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. Doug and I realized everything we've been doing for so many years was... <laughs> yeah, well, it was, it, was, it was not correct, but we were obviously doing what we thought was best for her, right? When I started at the camp, um, I couldn't even get into the driver's seat of a car because I was so scared that I would hit somebody. But at camp, they encouraged her to sit in the driver's seat and turn the engine on. Now, Kelsey has her license. Um, it's so nice to be able to have this freedom. With the freedom, Kelsey found her first job and the confidence to keep challenging her thoughts. I just don't want OCD to ruin my life anymore. Tanya Beja, Global News. Thanks for sharing that, Kelsey. And more amazing stories like hers at the 29th Annual Miracle Weekend for BC Children's Hospital. It kicks off at 6.55 p.m. this Saturday right here on Global BC. We'll pick it up again through Sunday. You can also donate online at MiracleWeekend.com.